Tag time is nothing but the rate of work in order to meet the customer demand. So customer is having some demand and there is available time with us and we have to fulfill the demand in the allotted time. So if you go into the formula, let's uh, talk about the case. Customer orders six burgers per hour. So there is a customer requirement of six burgers in one hour. What is the tag time? Formula for the tag time. It is available work time divided by the customer demand. If you go into the detail, what is the available work time here? 60 minutes because we have to deliver six burgers in a one hour. So that's a 60 minutes. And uh, what are the number of burgers we have to provide? That's a six. So what is the tag time we are getting? It's a 10 minutes per burger. So this is the time at which we should pace our processes so that we can fulfill the customer requirement. So you need to finish one burger every 10 minutes. That's the requirement from the customer. Now if you go to the lead time, what is the lead time? Lead time is nothing but the time between the start and end of the process. When the process is start and when the process is end. The difference between them is the lead time. Let's take an example. Customer place order at exactly 10 o'clock and got the delivery at 10.30. So what is the lead time here? Order delivered minus order received. So order delivered at 10.13 and order received at 10 o'clock. So what is the difference is a total 30 minutes. So customer received a burger in 30 minutes after placing an order. So this is a lead time. Now we have known about what is a tag time and lead time. Let's talk about this cycle time. So what is the cycle time? It is a time taken to finish one product. Now let's continue with the same example. Cook made total five burgers in a one hour. Okay. So what is the cycle time? Cycle time is nothing but the net production time divided by number of units produced. So what is the time here? Is if we have produced of five burgers in one hour, so 60 minutes divided five. So we'll be having a cycle time of 12 minutes per burger. So we, we are spending 12 minutes on each, each of the burgers. So that's our cycle time. Now, I think it's from this simple example, it will be very clear. What is a tag time? What is a lead time? And what is a cycle time? Is it clear? So if we are having the cycle time is equal to tag time, then exactly we are, we are delivering what the customer want. Because the tag time is equal to cycle time. But if the cycle time is more, for example, in our case, which you have considered, cycle time is 12 minutes and tag time is 10 minutes. So this is the undesirable thing and uh, we are not in position to meet the customer demand. So in that case, we need to reduce the cycle time by two minutes at least. Now, if, if the case is reversed, let's say uh, the tag time is 10 minutes uh, with the same similar thing. And if you do the some improvement project and we reduce that 12 minutes to the 8 minutes, then in that case, our cycle time is 8 minutes. So that much, that is very much less than the tag time. So this is a desirable condition. <clears throat> so if your cycle time is more than the tag time, we need to work on our processes so that we can reduce the cycle time. Please like this video if you have found it useful, add your valuable comments and share this video to your friends and colleagues to improve and refresh their knowledge. If you want to get updates of such a videos from my channel, please do not forget to subscribe it and click on the bell icon and select to get all notifications. And finally, thank you for watching.